first step, uh, install uBridge uh, uh, LK and uh, then go to Finder, take Ableton Live. You have to go to Finder, not from the desktop somewhere else and drop Ableton Live in here. Uh, then it's okay so far. The uh, next step, you go into Ableton Live, go into the uh, presets here, into um, um, MIDI link and uh, you have to take um, LK from the menu here, LK, it's appearing there, and uh, input and output both will be a U bridge, and then you have to put, put in input and output uh, track and uh, remote. Yes, you see exactly here, it should be like that. This, uh, you can activate this too, it doesn't matter. After that you go into uh, the, the app uh, over here, look at the connections and you see this air from Chris, is 60 milliseconds lat latency. You can put uh, with a star here, put this as a favorite, and that's in it. Uh, after that, uh, normally th the whole thing communicates and you can start things over here. Let's have a look. Oh, it's working, yeah, you see. And well, the, uh, on the right side here, you can change everything and you can start and stop it and stop it down there. And you have different menus. And this here, this mixer, uh, does not uh, um, at all work if you don't configure it. And one thing, again, uh, in the controller up uh, here in the, uh, uh, in the app, you see them different modes. There's live and there's MIDI. You have to switch to live, otherwise it won't work. Uh, with MIDI you can, uh, use it as a controller for external MIDI stuff. You can use the USB MIDI and uh, there's a YouTube video from the makers of it. They show how it's done, but as long as it's not switched to live here, it won't work. So what about the mixer? If you go down to, uh, to the different menus, there's a mixer menu and then you choose this and nothing happens. You have to assign it. And down here, there's a little, yeah, Thing, you can put it push it up and there's an assign thing and you push a sign hold something and then you say uh, change the parameter you want to sign to on live tap ok to c confirm then you go into live and uh, um, say okay this uh, should be assigned here this mixer and uh, after that I say tap ok and you see uh, they correlate one here, the other one there. You can do the same with panning up here, you can uh, apply anything here, um, but it's also only working if you hold a sign, push the button here and then go into Ableton and do that. Um, I hope I will get uh, this keyboard running very soon also, and there are different menus you, you can choose here. There's a corridor here, uh, I still don't, yeah, I unlocked it already, and all this wonderful other things like XY pad and so, uh, you have to do some tweaking on that. And uh, in the end, you can save the whole setting here and uh, start and stop it. And you also can record from here. Uh, so uh, in my opinion, uh, yeah, it seems to work. It's li like a, a giant uh, launch pad for, for Ableton in a way. And, and uh, somehow it's, it's working. You can change here and here and everywhere. You can dupl duplicate. And mute and uh, record and uh, yeah go forth and back and so many things you can do with it so uh, most people don't get it uh, running here because they made a mistake in here and there and uh, many people don't understand that uh, this should be assigned by option and then you can customize it and it works so it's also working on the m1 mac here or probably also with a big ableton um, that's it. Wonderful uh, tool uh, and um, there's some in-app uh, things you ha can, can buy. You don't have, uh, must not have this keyboard. I'd use a normal MIDI keyboard, but if you only have a MacBook Air and this keyboard uh, and this uh, iPad, you, you can work it with it. Thank you.